Hello, I'm just going to demonstrate how quickly you can uh, digitize using the Posture Ray uh, digitization system for x-rays. Uh, these are normal digital pictures that I obtained using a digital camera. These are not from a, uh, uh, a digital system using a DICOM image, even though Posture Ray will be able to do that as well too. Um, this is actually an x-ray image taken with a CyberShot Sony camera off of Ubox. You can do the similar things if you wanted to go ahead and enhance this. If I wanted to go ahead and get a better view, I could blow this up and I can actually inverse the joints so I could get a better look at the joints if I need to. I can change the contrast. Uh, but my purpose here is to just show you how fast we can go ahead and digitize the x-rays. If you look over here, it tells your staff member where to click on the film. Now, if that point is not visible, uh, you can go ahead and uncheck that. So I can barely see the hard palette. Um, Oh, on my x-ray. I can see it though. I'm going to go ahead and just hallucinate and say it's right there. So you can see now it tells you where to digitize the posterior frame and magnum. And I'm going to go ahead and blow this up. And so you can see how quickly we can digitize. I'm going to go ahead and just click the points. This is a lot faster than you can do by hand. For all those structural doctors out there, that actually uh, digitize x-rays by hand using a protractor. This is a wee bit faster. And you're going to only uh, not only obtain all the segmental rotations and translations, but you will actually be able to generate a patient educational report as well too, as well as an impressions report. So as you can see, those are all the segmental angles. And if we went ahead and save this, just to show you, I can go ahead and view the report. Let's go ahead and view the report. I'm going to do just an impressions report uh, just to show you. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and pull this up. And here is the PDF already digitized. And so that's what I just digitized. The red line is them. Green line is normal. Here are the normal values, our Harrison spinal model. That was published in Spine, and relative rotational angles for the patient, and the difference from normal, the percentage, and here are the segmental translations. Uh, this is very important for calculating instability as well.